Hi, I'm Debs. I'm here to um, let you know a little bit about us, Ace Qualifications, and to introduce our latest uh, sports qualifications, and that's the NTFE Level 2 Certificate in Sport. So a little bit about us, um, I'm Debs, I'm the uh, main person behind ACE Qualifications, but we are a small group of people, um, as it says on the slide, we're, we're made up of um, subject specialists, uh, ex-teachers and a home ed parent um, trying to offer online provisions which sometimes can be hard to find. We're passionate about making vocational and creative um, alternative qualifications a little bit more accessible for home educated and EOTIS learners. So just having a look uh, a little bit into a bit more detail of our sports course. It's an accredited qualification, it's off-call approved, um, it's 100% online so you can be anywhere in the world really to complete the qualification. Um, it's delivered through pre-filmed tutorials and presentations uh, with full assessor support from us. The great thing is that there's uh, no fixed deadlines or um, end of year exams to complete the course. It's completely 100% uh, portfolio based. Uh, it has a credit value, value of uh, 24 um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the next slide. Um, there's no age restrictions. We, we, we leave that up to you to decide if your learner is ready for a level two qualification. Uh, there's no hidden fees or certification fees. Um, the course price is a fixed fee that includes registration to the awarding uh, body and certification as well. Um, also payment could be made um, through PayPal and also uh, spread out through monthly uh, payments. So let's have a look at the next slide. So what's it worth? The credit value is 24. Now an average GCSE has a credit value of around 12 to 15 on average. Um, and what we're talking about is the, the weighting of the qualification. So it's a level two. So um, that tells you that it is on par with the GCSE, but the credit value is the, the weighting of it and what it's worth. So you can see with the credit value of 24, it's more comparable to two G GCSEs. Um, what I would say is as all um, alternatives or uh, courses, um, particularly level two qualifications, our advice is to always check with your um, local college if you are wanting to use this course in place of a GCSE. So just give the uh, admissions team at the college a quick call if you are wanting to use it in place of a GCSE. Now the great news is that um, for the majority we've found that um, the feedback is positive and some colleges are even willing to um, take the course in place of two GCSEs, which is which is brilliant news. So uh, we're often asked um, what sport would be suitable. So so the learners interested in, in a sport, what would be suitable? Absolutely anything, all sports. Uh, it doesn't, uh, they don't have to be involved in a team sports as such. It could be absolutely anything. We can make the uh, most sports activities work alongside this course. Uh, the other question that we're quite often asked is, is it like a PE GCSE? Um, and my answer is yes, um, quite similar to a PE GCSE. And um, actually in one of, well, my last school that I was involved in, um, this course was taught as um, the as the PE qualification that the learners um, undertook. We try and make the course uh, ac uh, accessible to as many people as possible. Um, we try and make it as dyslexia friendly as possible. I'm, I'm dyslexic myself. Um, and there's a, a few points here of all the things that we, we try to do to, to ensure that it's as friendly as possible. But I'm always happy to listen to feedback and make any changes where possible um, to make it more accessible to all. 
The course is split into four units. Um, you can see the titles there. Now, each unit uh, is very different, um, a mixture of physical and theory work involved. It's all 100% based online, so that means all the evidence needs to be uploaded. 25% uh, of the course is like a personal project where a learner is planning a uh, competitive sports activity. And so the evidence collected, um, it will be a personal uh, project that the learner will be involved in, um, depending on the sports activity that they're interested in. Um, the evidence could be um, incorporating things like reports, diary logs, photo uh, and vi video evidence to document their own personal project. With the theory-based units, uh, learners will have a structure um, given alongside subject material delivered through presentations. And then learners can complete further independent research and then submit evidence to pass each grading criteria. Uh, the evidence um, in order to pass the grading criteria will be a mixture of quizzes, uh, question and answer sessions, um, all online, and the completion of mini projects, all uploaded onto the portal. Um, all work, including the quizzes, can be retaken or modified based on feedback um, as many times as needed um, until the learner passes or achieves the grade that they're happy with. Because remember, it's, it's not just a pass fail course or pass not yet pass course, it's pass merit and distinction as well. Um, so let's have a little bit of a closer look at the portal itself. So here's our portal. Um, so once enrolled onto the course, which you can roll in at any point, there's no enrolment windows. Um, so if you wish to enrol onto the course, just jump onto our um, booking web page, which is um, aceofqualifications.co.uk. Um, and this is the very first page. Uh, Let's have a little look at a couple of the units just to get a taste of what it looks like. So the first unit, participating in sport, this is the unit where learners are um, creating their own project and organising and researching all the aspects involved when organising a competitive activity. Um, so learners will work through each learning outcome and then between the lesson content each grading criteria within that as well so basically you just start from the top and work your way through so i'm just going to pick a couple of lessons just to show you what it would look like um, if you were a learner so here you've got on the left hand side, you've got the whole course here broken down. So you can see where you are within the course. Uh, if you wish to hide that so you've got a full screen, you can do. Um, and all of the, um, particularly the first unit is comprised of a presentation, which you can just watch, um, information, and then it tells you what your task is. So what do you need to do to complete that learning objective? Uh, it also gives you uh, a breakdown in what's expected um, and the difference between a pass merit and distinction. So if you're aiming for a distinction, for example, you know exactly what it is that we're looking for in order to achieve that. And then how um, that evidence, how you're expected to um, submit at that evidence, whether it's um, to save it and move on to the next task, whether it's to upload it, um, whatever's required that is given to you at the bottom. Now something just to mention here is we've got this chat feature as well. So if I just click on that, um, that will um, be your chat. I've got a made up um, user here. 
and um, if you want to speak to um, your assessor you just type in here and send that um, like a text and that gets sent to your assessor only your assessor can see that and they will be able to reply to you once you've completed a page um, we will just mark complete and then move on to the next topic I'm going to just jump ahead and show you what it looks like when it's uh, requiring you to upload. Um, so I've just scrolled down to the bottom of the page, upload, it's telling you clearly what you're expected to complete and how you're going to achieve that. And when it's time to upload uh, a piece of evidence, this is what you will see in an assignment box down here and you just click browse to um, open up the folders within your computer you can select your file and then click upload and that gets sent to your assessor once that's been activated um, your assessor will have a look at that and give you feedback and once you receive that feedback if it's been accepted you can move on to the next bit so let me just scroll through to another unit to show you what a more theory based um, unit will look like. So this is the unit on um, anatomy and physiology for exercise. So the first part is all about the skeletal system or skeletal system depending on how you say that. Uh, so again, starts off with a presentation. So if I was to click on that, it will then go through onto a YouTube um, presentation. So if I just... That tells you just the start of it. And here we've got the breakdown below. So I'm just going to move on. Um... I've just skipped, let's have a look. We've got our presentation here. We've got some information for you. And then what do you need to do to uh, pass that section? So we see it says your task, complete the quiz. So at this point, we need to um, start the quiz. And here it is a labelled diagram. So it is a quiz, not a test. So you can use, um, you can refer back to any notes you might have made. You can refer back to any independent learning. While you're completing the quiz, it is not a test. Um, it's about collecting evidence rather than testing your knowledge. Um, and so that is one way of um, gathering evidence for this course. Uh, let's have a little look at another. And again, a, a different learning outcome. Um, it starts with a presentation and then we've got the content below. You then click through the different aspects and just work your way through. So that gives you a little bit of a taster of what it actually looks like. Um, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me, uh, please ask through the chat or um, you can always go to our web page. So we've got ACE qualifications and you can always go to contact and just send us a message this way or we're on Facebook, we've got a Facebook group for ACE qualifications as well, you can get in touch.